The light. <laughs> I, you, it's a it's a shadowy you figure. Really, like there are so many times where you create statements at just the perfect time, and it's it's amazing. Hey, are we live? <laughs> yes, yes, we Wonderful. are. Hey, everybody, welcome back to Natural One RPG. Oh shit, wait, I did that wrong. <laughs> welcome back to Empress by Daybreak. What by the? By the <laughs> We are Natural One RPG, but we yes. run, we host the show yeah. Embers by yes. Daybreak. This is Embers by Daybreak, uh, brought to you by Natural One RPG. There we go. There we go. Now we're back there you go. into it. We got Sorry, it. it's been a while since we had the picture of Ernie Hudson out, so I'm naturally nervous. Oh, As yeah, you can it's see. been a while. Featuring right. Dante I... from the Double May Cry series. You gotta stop not... getting flustered around the buster, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I know exactly what you're saying. Um, but as always, I'm joined by the wonderful cast here that we have. Marshall, I'm exhausted. Dylan, only two of us are in a cast. That's it. Doesn't really work. McKenna, I, you know, I'm tired too. Brace. And Jade, <laughs> you will never see my face for at least a month. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I call a Working campaign class. promise. <laughs> yes. Oh, but yes. So before we begin, I do want to make one quick mention. Last weekend, I went to a convention and I won some stuff. Stop doing that! Wait, what did you do? Where'd you go? <laughs> I went to Con of the Veil, vale, which is this just tabletop uh, like, what? con. What? <laughs> yeah, it's up in it was up in uh, Brookfield, Wisconsin. Fun little time, mm-hmm. really inexpensive. Huh. I went there and I won uh, this. Oh! <gasps> Yay! We match. Where's yeah. my... there, there's a funny. We picture. match. Hey! <laughs> yeah. There's a funny picture in um on Facebook on their page of me with the award, but I'm fixing the sleeve, so I'm not looking at the camera. I'm just looking down, like <laughs> amazing. That oh no! Yeah, and, and also, I have won uh, some time ago, Extra Life or D- uh, Wizards of the Coast had this Extra Life stream <laughs> inside Gary Gygax's house. So when are we gonna and, do that? You know, we got people we know in Lake Geneva. That's true. Yeah, we're that's true. going right. It's happening. Well, yeah. Okay. So in in that in that uh in that uh stream, they did a bunch of things. They ran a bunch of adventures, and they had a bunch of stuff like a DM screen and a book. Um, and I didn't want sacrifice. Any, yeah, I didn't want any of that. Instead, I won their dice tower that they used. <gasps> that's pretty cool. With, like, Sick. Life right on the side. Yo. I say one, but in reality, I got it off an auction, and I was the one that won it. Well, speaking but of giveaways, for anybody still that won. is interested in things like Extra Life, we are also doing an Extra Life live stream this year. Uh, that's going mm. to be on November second, and we are also going to be doing giveaways. Uh, the yes. the idea what those are going to be are undecided, um, but we will know very shortly. It won't be this dice tower because I really Bitcoin. Like it. No, it uh, but it, it will likely be some type of book or kit related item. It, so. it lets me roll high. <laughs> It'll be uh, such the art of war. Anyways, with that said, with my gentle, with right my now. humble brag out of the way, <laughs> um, the show we're doing. We, yes, we bring you back to Embers by Daybreak, where this miniature is actually distracting me. Um, <laughs> Where we last left off, the performers had gone through several different developments. Mm -hmm. Um, One, uh, Dr. Rykoff found that Percival had no heartbeat. Also that Percival's identity was soon discovered as well by the captain later on the day. That would be Uh, fine. Who needs a heart? (laughs) Yeah, and they both... uh, both the captain and Percival decided that it was best to keep this current status quo in place. As for Nephra, uh, Nephra accidentally attacked Petrichor. Ouch. Thanks to a natural one. Good job, Nephra. Mm-hmm. You finally hit something and it was your teammate. Oops. <laughs> no, that would be and me. I... <laughs> yes. But then after that, uh, in a dream sequence, he was reunited with a old cherished figure in his past. Um, I really enjoyed my dream sequence. Yes, the one pretty we good. Got. Gotta you know, say, we really gotta got a lot that. of in-depth character arc in that one. That's yeah. true. Very much. <laughs> but yes. And then for Petricor, who never gets dreams, she got one. Everybody gets a dream. You get a dream. You get a dream. 
You probably don't get a dream. You're dead. Um, you just get bees. Yes, just bees. 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 Uh, showcasing the strange vision of her being a child, um, seemingly on the deck of the uh, Grove of Myliki, uh, being given the star flower, uh, the same type of flower that she took from the deck after they defeated uh, this abomination that was created thanks to the uh, seemingly through the disease on board the deck so, so many days ago. Uh, and finally, Terry uh, resumed to what she was doing, mm-hmm. which was being crow's amazing. Crow's nest, crow's Heck nest, yeah. crow's nest. <laughs> but regardless, they're all given the mission. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. The day before. It's nice I have a default state for when I'm not available. <laughs> you do. It's it's actually incredibly useful. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, uh, the party. Then uh, I'm probably more that. useful up there when I'm not here than when I currently. Am. That's you right. are, when you miss um, the fight, yeah. with the, when you miss the fight with those empire folk, you just were ringing the bell like crazy. <laughs> but yes, so I lost my train of thought. Anyways, we're, you, we're, all we're, we're the in now. We're going to the present. They're all giving the mission to investigate the nearby ships, but first mm-hmm. they had to check in with the Levianka, the Esprin warship that uh, that attacked them in the beginning and has now placed themselves in the service of the Ember and Captain Bran uh, to kind of repay the damages for uh, that they've done. Mm-hmm. Um, and with that said, at the, begin- at the beginning of the morning, you've all had your breakfast, and then you're all come. You all con- congregate. Words are eluding me today. You all group up we're back together go. on on the top of the deck uh, with a seemingly more somewhat moist. Uh, silver guard standing at attention next to the sinker. So with that said, I what do you all do? Right. Oh, and as I know, you had left Calvin with the captain again. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So this is next morning. We're all, we're all meeting up. <laughs> yep. All right. All right, team. We all here. As much as I can be. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're here. You hear that? <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Yes. Over any- okay. I'm here. All right. I'm all right. What was that, Terry? Oh, please. Yeah, did Terry. I already ring the morning bell? Of course yep. you did. Of course. That's the first thing you do every day. You would never you're forget a great something job like it. that. No. Er- never. Everybody lives by Terry's ringing of the bells. <laughs> mm-hmm. Your schedule is She's like the clock. How else would we receive Gondor's aid? She's the big Ben of the... Um, the... Going back to in character here, uh, you... uh, Yeah. yeah, That kind of reminds me. uh, We may want to make sure that we decide on sticking with this either this Nefra or Arson. I really don't know you as much as either, so it's mostly up to you, but if we start calling you different names based on the way they reacted when you were... when they came to the boat... I don't think they're going to be super kind if we start calling you different names. Mm. That is a that is a pretty fair point. Um, they're probably going to be as suspicious of you already. <laughs> Let's not make it worse for us. Well, I mean, you you've all shown yourselves to be a little more comfortable calling me Nefra. I I don't suppose that has to change. Um, uh, at, at least. Uh, for the convenience of this mission, of course. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can get used to it. Otherwise, uh, I most likely, at least after the mission or whatnot, will likely stick to the... If Arson is your your birth name, then I'll likely just stick to that unless you have any objections to it. Arsene, yes. Yeah. Um, I think... I think that'll... I think that'll work. I think we can manage that. All right, well, I'll continue calling you Nefra until the mission is over. Hmm. Keep it, uh, simple. Sure. Sounds good. I think we could all use a little simple right now. I feel uh I feel That's like I'm sure. I am potentially one to note that you we one may not likely want to have their cover blown. Mm. <laughs> Alright, then I'll address I'm assuming the silver guard standing nearby. Mm-hmm. Are uh, you ready to go to the ship? 
Um, and as you approach him, he is standing there with the spear upright facing the sky, his tower shield uh, to his left, um, resting on the ground uh, to save strength in his arm. He is wearing a red tunic over what looks to be a chain shirt um, with some steel pauldrons on, on either arm and a uh, helmet that covers his top, the top half of his face and a cloth uh, mask covering the bottom half. You know, this is this is uh, definitely an off-table thought. Yes. You, you've you mentioned a number of times that they carry tower shields, but it's interesting to me that they haven't really implemented that in, like, de- in facto yet in this edition. They just have shield. They there, used to. There used to be it's a, true. Yeah, the, used to be a um, power shield variant. It, gave it you... seems like the the giants, like the the fire giants, are the only ones who seem to really have like tower shields. Yeah, but and it's more thematic. It doesn't really like. Yeah. Because like old tower shields used to add like essentially gave you cover, mm-hmm. whereas like just get the shield buff <laughs> in yeah, terms of yeah. the mechanics of the, the base game. It's all yeah, no, about no, 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 totally. I I Aesthetic. completely agree with everything that's been. <laughs> well, I'll just say. It, it, you, the, it's just you mentioning it reminded me that there used there used to be a mechanic in the game. Okay, it just was um, so it was interesting. It it had me think about that. Silverguard looks at Percival, who just goes off on a rant on tower shields. Hey, I said this was <laughs> off table. I know. Uh, I but qualified the, uh, myself this time. <laughs> but as you, as you look too, um, after looking over, you do notice that some of his pieces of his armor seems wet. And a little bit of uh, drops of water coming off his uh, his arm that's holding the spear, as well as some parts of his helmet. Were you going fishing earlier? Petricor, what did you do to this poor man? <laughs> I didn't do anything. I am the respectable first mate, and I do not play pranks. I seem to remember distinctly you dropping water from my crow's nest on something. What are you pranks. talking about? <laughs> 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 Phoenix Ray music just starts blurring. <laughs> the um, the Silver Guard stands there. Um, permission to speak? Permission granted. Yes. I. F- Your rowboat's not too secure. No, it's quite quite. It has a name what for a mean, reason. All mean, right, let's get back. Do you mean by on. that that it isn't here? It's right behind him, but okay. it also looks like it has water in the inside. I'm gonna take a look. You wouldn't, you, um, you wouldn't I'm gonna take to a look for a minute. <laughs> Go for it. You wouldn't happen to have a a, a bucket by well, any chance, would you? Oh no, no! <laughs> this isn't a good start. Natural twenty-one. <laughs> yeah, definitely a natural twenty. <laughs> yes. There it is. <laughs> Uh, the shimmer was was black. Yo, there's boat people. cops in that boat. <laughs> yeah, make make a percentile check. Oh yes, yeah, right. roll percentile. Thank you. Dun, um, dun, you dun. see the guy look at the the ship and look back. Look fine to me. <laughs> <laughs> Seventy one. Seventy one. Interesting number. Interesting number. Oh god. It's got a it's got a seven and a one in it. It's got something else. How are you guys all standing right now? By the way, who's next to who? Well, I'm by the boat. Well, <laughs> you're by the boat. So, because well, I went okay, to go look I'm, at it. <laughs> so I'm probably standing like right in front of the silver guard, off to the side of what they're looking at the boat. I'm assuming. I'm standing next to Petricor. Oh, okay. I'll be behind both of them, sort of like in the middle, the third wheel position. You know, where you're trying to get mm-hmm. into a conversation, but yeah, you're not yeah, as yeah. invested as the other two. Hey, hey, hey. That- that's me at every wedding. That's good for you. Cool. All right. So, Percival. Oh. Uh, Percival. Uh, make me a strength athletics check. Oh, you? boy. Oh, I'm not good at those. Oh, no. Oh, at least that was a better roll. So, I've got that going for me. It was athletics? Yes. Oh, uh, that's a good 15. With my good old plus one. That's, All right. not, that's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, that you, may not be good. You don't know. You punch the silver guard's chest. You're just... And it's the weirdest thing. You're looking at the sinker. You're trying to look it over. It looks... All weird. right, I'm ahead up. 
Yeah. <laughs> all right, bye, y'all. Exactly that motion. Your hand just, the water. all of a sudden just <laughs> lashes out and strikes. Do I feel uh, it? Yes. Like, am I aware also, it hit something? Yes, you are aware <laughs> it hit something. You're also aware that you have no control over it for right now. Wait, guys. Guys, uh, I'm not. You punch, um, and then you, you start patting his chest. The I'm not guys looking very uncomfortable. I'm Make not doing this. a wisdom saving throw. Oh no! Well, I'm not terrible at those. So, uh, sixteen. Sixteen. Your hand returns back to normal. The silver guard looks very uncomfortable as he looks. Okay, at, I am uh, doing this now. I, I seem to have regained control. <sighs> as he looks at you, Petricor. My apologies for my. I associate. Also uh, apologize. I don't know what happened. <laughs> let's Nor let's, can I explain it. Let's continue on. It sounds like these I missed the doubles. Um Yes, let's let's go. As he you see he timidly goes into the the uh the boat as if cautious as if he knows something. Okay. Uh, Did we I, at least like flip it upside him? down, dump the water out? You can try. Kind of just see what he's doing. Go for it. Okay. Or like, uh, oh, that's not Me good. It's not a one, but it's damn close at a three. <laughs> at three. He seems fine. Before everybody gets in, can I try to like? You want to try for? Um, uh, sure. make make me a regular investigation check just to look at the boat. Okay. Oh, I only got three, too. Three? Yeah, the boat yeah. looks fine. <sighs> All right. The sinker looks great. Looks extra sinking. Yeah. Well, perfect. So at this point, then I'll just be like, "Why? Well, I don't know. Are you, you, what seems? What seemed off? It's, the boat looks fine." <laughs> uh. I mean, if it's okay for him and it's okay for her, true. I mean, it's if... okay for all of us. Let's get in. There. I would say you're Let's coming with in. us. So it's, if it's yeah. if it's fine, it's fine. You know. I can swim. I say that. I'm saying that to him, <laughs> by the way. Yes. I know, but I'm saying that to him. Yeah, uh, yeah. Where I'm like, you know, you're coming with us. So, I mean, you know, it's. If, I assume it's fine. But yes. So you all get into the sinker and you are all lowered down back into the water, and now we're back with the sinker mini game. No. <sighs> Oh yay! Do, 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 do. Who is rowing? <laughs> All right, we go back to me. All right, Patrick uh, is rowing. Is he, is he Who like is a also strong rowing? man? I am also rowing. Okay, you All that, right. we've changed the dynamic for hopefully the better. I am not sure about it, but maybe. Uh, All right, both of you roll that. If, you, that if, you, check. if you have to know, you can you can do like a perception check on me if you gotta know. I mean, I know what you've been. It's a very low eleven. So All for right. for me, it's just for me. It just depends on whether or not anything's changed in the meantime. You said athletics, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, fifteen. Fifteen. All right, uh, two highs. Look at that. Were they, you both you, got a fifteen. Yep. I got eleven. Oh. All right. Yep. Yeah. Two highs. Still. So you uh you hit the water and then you start rowing, and you see the silver guards just um. He is very historically sitting towards the back, um, close to where I would say Nefra, you are. Actually, opposite. He's close to where Petrichor is. He's sitting as far away from you, Nefra. Um, how close is he to me? <laughs> depends on how close you are to Petrichor. This boat's not too big. I mean, yeah. well, it can so fit six. In terms can of, six fit, I was going to say, okay. can you sit at all next to anybody? Unless you're rowing. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, it depends on, like, the layout of how you can be on the yeah. ship. If it's, like, if you can potentially do, like, two, 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 or it has to be single file. I can uh, do two, two, two. That could make one, sense. One, two, two, one. It can oh, fit okay. six people comfortably. So I'm assuming oh. the rowers are in the middle somewhere. <laughs> the rowers are at each end. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, they would have to be because your uh, your trajectory of your oars would prevent you from being able to sit next to each other. Yep. Mm -mm. <laughs> Marshall's. Yeah. So it is oh. one, two, two, one. Okay. All right. Okay. So. 
So he's sitting at the side closest to Petricor, which is the uh, we're, well, we're going to see mean, this... inherently, no matter what. The, all of us non rowers are somewhere in the middle, which means yes. he is entirely within <laughs> within speaking distance. Yes, he is. Also, he... punching distance. <laughs> I'm going to refrain from doing that, <laughs> at least from my level. Starting now, unless I roll any, unless I roll a one again and get another seventy-one, then <laughs> we will see what happens. But yes, you're on speaking level. Uh, the trip is relatively uh, easy in this case. The water's calm. You're just going through. Uh, you should get there in record time. Well, what's it like on your ship there? Since uh, seemingly you guys have really only gone to ours. We've been on the ship this entire time. We've been on yours for less than an hour yes you've been on ours but we have not been on yours so much it's a regular warship I more say this kind of t I mumble this kind of more to myself but it's just kind of like oh my the, bad my bad uh, no I'm mumbling this this next statement to okay. myself where it's going to yes. just be more of the uh, well the sarcasm doesn't work on these people for better or for worse <laughs> uh, <laughs> well otherwise yes uh, so can I just ask, what do you have need for a warship for anyways? We're all trying to run away. What do you find? These are just your ships available during the time. I was going to say, I feel like at some point, the the choice doesn't become what ship to pick, and it's just get on the boat, run for your life. <laughs> My Sometimes God, necessity the outweighs practicality. Mm. Yes, exactly. Sure. Thankfully, I suppose so, but I feel like you could give it a better name than Warship. You don't have to call it that. I mean, it was made as a Warship. I really don't think the, you could change the up. name. <laughs> yes, but you don't have to call it a Warship is what I'm saying. They, you can call I mean, it a They call it the Levianca, so... True. That is his That's name, yes. Same name. Yeah. Lev just, it, it doesn't take away the fact that it's a Warship just because it inherently isn't being used as one. Now. It just sounds so mean. I kind of give him the look when I say now. Like, I just kind of go, now. <laughs> Livianca is a proud member of the Imperial Argosy. Although, now there's not much of an Imperial Argosy. Well, hey. Potentially, I'll, I'll pick your brain for a moment here. Uh, since it apparently is important to uh, to. You all in the, in the empire. What what type of significance can you tell me about the the maidens in red? You, you see him, you see him take a deep breath. I am trying to find equivalents in your society, and I find that I am wanting in knowledge of your society. They are not as great as the Emperor or the Emperor's children or the Emperor's uh, direct subjects, but they are close. They are widely respected in our society, um, and, and they hold positions of power, typically. Uh, I guess, if anything, you could, maybe find, uh, uh, you could maybe find an analogy to a ship's crew. You know, Emperor being the captain, and then... The you, you see him. Office you see positions him. going from there. You you uh, you see him um, consider it. If that were the big case, the maidens of red would be uh, bosuns, hmm. which you all know to be kind of like the fourth ranked officer. I was like, yeah, we're going to kind of just be like, Franny, can you explain that for me? Yeah, Captain First Mate, quarter, Captain First Mate, Quartermaster, Bosun. Okay. Surgeon, Cook. Interesting. Do you know anything of this? Do you know the significance of the coffins that they carry? And maybe explain the carrying part of that, maybe as well, if you have any knowledge. <laughs> I have only heard rumors. Nothing concrete. 
Well, I can tell you that they do, in fact, carry it, <laughs> carry them. You, you see him. If you want to take around. that, if you want to take that story with you, <laughs> carry out what? They literally strap a coffin to their back. I know it sounds insane, but it is true. <laughs> I see some pretty strong ladies. You, you see. Why do you um, think she slightly terrifies me? <laughs> <laughs> you see um, the silver guy look around uh, real quick, and then he kind of leans in closer. In the middle of the fucking ocean. <laughs> <laughs> That's how terrifying they are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You didn't. You didn't hear from me. But I think they stuffed the bodies of their lovers in there and steal their life force too, in order to uh, look to the future. And I won't. <laughs> what? It's why they always have names. Mm. It's very off-putting. Well, it's a good thing she wasn't that attracted to me then. I don't know anything else, and you didn't hear from me. Well, as he kind of sits up again. I would. I. Part of that theory I would rec recollect could be is relatively true, so. Potentially, it, culture, ha it may hold ground. Once a female is done with her mate, she claws out his throat. A uh, real uh, Black oh. Widow society you have. Is your, <laughs> is your culture praying <laughs> mantises by any chance? You Tiger people, but close. <laughs> you see the Derek, you see the Derek guy, or the Derek guy, you see the silver guy look at you, uh, Terry, with a very concerned look. Go ahead and make me a deception check. <laughs> at advantage, he doesn't know. <laughs> oh, somebody has to roll for you, don't they? Oh, yeah. I've got it. A nat 20. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Nice. See, I got you, Jade. He he looks at you uh, with the Nailed concern. It. He looks at you with the concern, Terry. <laughs> then looks you up and down. You are. I'll take that. <laughs> you, are you are terrifying. Are... Thanks. <laughs> you are not quite calf folk. What do they call you at your land? I'm the race known as the Derekai. Ah, uh, truly terrifying. Um, I will. Yeah, she's pretty hardcore. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I haven't chosen my mate yet. When I do, <laughs> if we ever break up. I <laughs> see. Uh, best wishes to you and your endeavors. As he kind of uh, shrinks a little bit. Like, kind of like, uh, like closing in on himself a little bit. Of where he's sitting. Well, well, I can't necessarily confirm it either. I can tell you that there is. I feel that there is credence to the uh, the their future seeking power. If that at all interests you. All that is above what I can decide. You have to talk to the second blade about that. Well, I can just I'm I'm only telling you from the experience of having to live with one for a couple days. He looks at you as if you've suddenly sprouted a third leg. How for... do you think I got the armor and I'm not from the empire? <laughs> like they just I just found one floating on the ocean. I mean I mean we haven't you seen don't know. anybody from the empire ever until now so i would say probably not he, he looks at you again um you do know that's how blades are chosen correct i have no idea i only know of your your country by name i have uh, never been there unfortunately as he looks around again uh, probably not looking for maintenance, but this time looking for probably higher higher uh, command. To see if they're within earshot. Uh, you still have a good distance away. Well, every blade is uh, what's the word in, in this language ordained um, to be to become so by a maiden. They are given. It's a big ceremony. Several 
candidates are chosen and awarded the title. Ah, so they're not pushed into the ocean. Typically, no. Uh, but that's I how she decided, wrong. I guess, said to me off. It's a good thing you weren't stuffed in a coffin then. So, that's my statement earlier. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you are correct. <laughs> but if you were chosen by a maiden, then uh, technically <laughs> you're one of us. Thank you. Interesting. <laughs> How does does it matter that I am not from there? <laughs> and typically, we accept anybody who has an urge to serve. Um, long, we find uh, we found years ago that uh, being picky with troops never went well for us. I, I, I checked out that. those shows and ship. Nice. <laughs> um, You're a funny one. But, <laughs> but, I didn't tell you that. As he kind of leans well, back. Well, inevitably, based on the small discussion I had with your captain in the, you know, ensuing battle, I imagine I'll have a couple discussions when we aboard, aboard your vessel. So don't worry. I was just more picking your brain before we got on, just to maybe get somewhat of a pretential knowledge as I could. What was that term, or... Picking your brain? Uh, just uh, getting a baseline of information. It's a, just a saying. It really means nothing. Oh, so kind of like stealing your thoughts. Sure. Exactly. Doesn't uh. mean, it's just a, a phrase. It doesn't act, I'm not actually doing anything except asking you questions. No, it's also a saying that we just say it in a different language. You just, yeah, steal your okay. yeah, if this steal your thoughts does actually pin <laughs> on the mind. I thought I I've thought heard that Marshall, phrase you were gonna say steal your organs. <laughs> <laughs> no, if I you went like steal your uh, thoughts. <laughs> if I was playing two certain characters that I have played in my in my lifespan, uh, <laughs> then yes, I probably would have, but uh Part of me always will miss Sephirin. <laughs> um, but you see, but you see the uh, Silver Guard kind of pause and look out in the ocean again. And just fall silent. As you all continue on the ship, or on the boat. Just rowing and rowing and rowing and rowing. And rowing, and rowing, and rowing. Oh, okay. This is wow. Where is this kind of far? <laughs> so you guys zoomed over here. Sixteen men on a dead last... man's chest. Yo ho ho oh, in a battle oh, of the Okay, rum. nope. It, we're not doing that well, today. So, <laughs> so when we return, are we gonna have to take the seeker back, or are we also gonna be shot off in a cannon? Happy birthday. So. <laughs> Mr. Uh, President. President. <laughs> what you saw was our basic naval tactic. Basic? <laughs> well, no, Quite yeah, I'm not sure if I'd tactic. call it basic, but sure. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> uh, all Silver Guard on the Agrosi are taught how to uh, do a plummet maneuver. It's part. It's what we do. I mean, if you got the technology, I guess, so why or the magic, yeah. then I guess why not? I can't say much more. It's not my place. Well, I just can't say it's not effective either. <laughs> okay. No, it's fine. You could tell us. We know a guy from the Emperor. Darius. <laughs> <laughs> you know someone from. No, it's Berg to me. <laughs> She is making oh. a joke. <laughs> oh. Humor. Honest. Right. Oh, honestly, you, you gotta tell me that you you have humor on your ship. Um, I have, it's I'm just not that crazy of a thought, is it? And a little more to the point. Uh, he looks at you, Nefra, uh, with caution. Um, 
being around you and you not having attacked them really helps with the whole uh, not worrying about you <laughs> so thing. Ephra, don't roll a 71 if you get a 1. <laughs> oh, God, no! He's crazy now. Um, Once is enough. All right. It's it's hard to find humor in war. Um, but we find joy in this event, this bitter victory. Just wish more of us could have seen it. As he looks down a little bit, his eyes going a bit distant as he seemingly remembers something. We all have those thoughts. <laughs> How you two rowing around there? <laughs> We're going. You Honestly, I'm I'm doing great. I you know this isn't really difficult for me at all. Is he pulling anyway. the glaive at this point, or is it like I'm? Yes, able? he's paddling with the glaive. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, <laughs> He's kind of like doing this balance act, where it's like in the nook of his elbow or in the nook of his arm, mm -hmm. like I lean uh, the blade facing outward. I hope you don't get a bruise from that. Yeah. Do you need somebody to hold that? Um, that's that's fine. Uh, I don't I don't need anybody to hold. I can take. I it's fine. We're we're doing good. Why do why ruin a good thing? You know, let's let's just keep the good times a rowing. Uh, cause we're rowing a boat. Uh... Everybody make a perception check. Lovely having more weather. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Perception. Well, this one, screw you. Plus eighteen. You're going I don't know how to do math. All right, uh, Terry. Mm. Yup. Uh, you rolled. Uh, I rolled for you. It wasn't too great, but hey, you rolled a nine, okay. Terry. Gotcha. All right, uh, Petrogor, what'd you get? Twenty-six. Nice. And Ephraim. Nice. Sixteen. Sixteen. Percival? Uh, let's see. I can see the sweat tree. I thought you said you rolled. I did roll. What'd you get? Not only that. <laughs> oh. I got. I rolled a 67. <laughs> Again? Oh. <laughs> that I did. Buddy, <laughs> you need I, to change your dice. Yeah, go yeah, go I, I unintentionally battles, rolled on the same one as the last one. I pulled out the other two, but I unintentionally rolled on the one that caught me the low roll the last time. No, no you gotta burn that puppy. You got, you gotta wash him. He says uh, 61? 67. 67. 67. Interesting. In the arms. You're, you're throwing me a curveball here. Let your arms in cold <laughs> But I like it. Alright, so... Oh, no GMR, so you can't look at it. So. It looks at it. <laughs> Nefra. You're a fool for not thinking you memorized it. Right? Nefra. <laughs> um, Petricor. Yeah. As, you're, as you're kind of uh, rowing about. It, for, it works because you're both rowing. Uh, you, the mind, Your tr mind travels elsewhere as you're just looking about. <laughs> um, and as you both look to the starboard side of the ship. <laughs> Um, or the boat, sorry, no mass, so it's a boat. Okay. Uh, you see some strange symbol forming. Um, at first you think it's imag your imagination, but you see uh, one line separate into six other lines, and each one coming forward briefly, uh, almost looking like a, uh, a whip with several ends. Um, Cat and nine tails, mm -hmm. yeah, something like that. Um, you see it, you see it f flash briefly, and it goes away. And then you see the water around you suddenly starts moving back and forth. Uh, it starts to get more oh, violent Nelly. as all of a sudden the sinker <laughs> starts going side to side with the rapid waves. Um, <laughs> could, you, could you not? <laughs> I am. I think we're experiencing some turbulence. Um, please, please. Everybody, please fasten your seatbelts. And if you look to your left and right and up, all the emergency exits are there. During this time, you see a, a hand come out. This scaly, clawed hand come out on the side where Pet 
Petrichor is, try to reach uh -huh. out, but the wave seemingly pushed it away and it falls back into the water. Okay. Oh, seconds Are we still later. Like... Yeah, the, the water's Rocking going crazy. Boat? Seconds later, you see a another oh, hand grab on his side. Uh, closest to where you Percival are and you you quickly look over and you see this fish face look at you jagged teeth coming out of its mouth with dark pitted eyes is looking straight at you screaming from underwater slowly emerging breaking the surface um, in this suddenly crazy water um, you do notice too that this creature seemingly has a lot of violet veins as everybody I need you all to roll initiative uh, I was gonna do a thing, but I can't do a thing now. Uh, Me too. I'm gonna do a thing too. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I gotta wait for the turn. Yeah. All right, I oh, got thirteen. Twenty-one. Oh right, boy, eight. you're right, quick. Thirteen. I got a big twenty-one. A lot of decks. All right, uh, Petrichor, roll for Terry. Okay. Oh, uh, fourteen. Fourteen, Terry. You got an 18. You got me, girl. I got you. Nefra. 17 and strong god on confusion. So you got a 5? No, we got 17 total. Oh, we did pretty good, nah, guys. I don't believe that. You're fine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, let's see here. Ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. Just double checking something. Do -do 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 -do. Cool things. All right, cool. This works out really well. Nice. Don't worry about it. I'm just saying random stuff to freak you all out. Or am I? <laughs> but yes, top of the round. Oh, right. You tell us. <laughs> There we go. Top of the round. Percival. You see this fishy face next to you. Uh, it looks very hostile. And you see uh, four tendrils coming out of its spot, uh, its mouth area just coming down. A oh, uh, uh, long fan coming over. It's, it's, um, it's where its hair would be is one fan coming down. It seems to be clawing to say, uh, uh, grabbing onto the sinker itself. This rapid water seemingly uh, deterring it from going any further what do you do is it up like it's so it's like is it within reach it's it's kind of like doing a it's kind of like doing a pull up next to you so yes cool i can luckily i can use the thing that is useful in this in this circumstance and i'm gonna Hooray. pull up my dagger <laughs> and quickly just <laughs> jab it down like this all play right the finger game with him make an attack roll <laughs> Uh, I won't cut my fingers. What? Knife goes chop, chop, chop. <laughs> Why do all of my <laughs> dice hate me? What'd you do? What'd you get? What'd you get? Uh, two. Oh. Whoa. You rolled a two or you get a two? I got a two out of 100. <laughs> oh, nice. Wait. Another one? Yes. <laughs> Another one. Buddy. Hey. It's a different asshole. dice. Hey, asshole. Yeah. Reroll that attack, you lucky, lucky bastard. Thank oh. God. <laughs> All right, that's a lot better. Uh, that's a that's a twenty-two. Uh, you know that would hit him in usual circumstances. If there's a usual circumstance, so go ahead and make and roll damage. This way. All right. Nine. Nine damage. Nine damage. You get him right on the uh, side of the face and it howls at you in this language that you might know actually. Yes, you do. It howls at you in abyssal. Ah! Ooh. That's my shit. <laughs> as it screams at you, it seems gargly as if the water in the throat I mean, is, is still it there. Is it saying anything? Yeah, it's, it's, or is it just uh, like it's that saying... Spanish or, or it's like the. <laughs> it's like the. the yeah, it's just like. <laughs> glares in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> it's gar it's gargling, so you can't understand most of it, and it has a different dialect. But you can tell it's swearing at you. You bitch. Cool. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Attack again. Go for it. I have extra attack. Get him, get him. My god. It's like a new world. <laughs> do it. 
What'd you get? I, I'm gonna guess it probably missed, but we'll see anyway. A twelve. A twelve. Yep, that misses. Damn. You're going for the second strike. It gets wise and moves out to the side. This violet stained, uh, dark ichor coming from its face, uh, pouring down. Uh, it, kind of blocking your vision on one side, but not enough to matter. You demonic bitch. <laughs> Say is there that anything else whistle. I like to do? All right. It responds in kind. Curse it in tongue. In its own tongue. There you go. All right. Is there anything else you like to do? No, that'll be it. Okay, cool. So at initiative 20, let's see, since we have two rowers, uh, Petricor and Ephra, make me athletic checks. I'm a low one. Ooh. Um, seven. eleven. Eleven. Okay. Nefra. Fifteen. Fifteen. You guys wow. got the exact we same the rolls. Same numbers again. The ship stays on course and doesn't start spinning. Go us. Yay. All right. Now at initiative eighteen, Terry. What would you like to do? Ice knife second level right in his face. All right. Uh, <laughs> Um, Wait, hold see. on. We're all within five feet of it, aren't we? You, uh -huh. you have at least two of your party members within five feet of it. <laughs> okay, never mind. Let's, take a let's, thought. Say, let's think about it for a moment, maybe. <laughs> I, I forgot about the splash damage. No, uh, I feel like at this point, Terry should be intimately aware with the splash damage effect. Of Terry also too. has That's six spells. That, yeah, Terry also has uh, four spells that she could know, but that hasn't chosen yet. You know, I was actually just working on that now because I realized I forgot oh, to do you have it. Oh, no. your spells. You're fine. Uh, I'm just making <laughs> you do a, a long rest right now, just for reasons. Um, Terry's taking oh, off the training she, weights. Yeah, say, yeah, she <laughs> yeah to let's do off. let's do frostbite. Frostbite. All right, and he's make Constitution save and throw. It will succeed with a natural twenty. Thank you, Dice Tower. Well, Thanks, to the tower. <laughs> so nothing happens as the frost starts to develop it. It goes underwater, washes it away. Uh, Terry, is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh, not at this time, no. No, that'll be it. Cool, cool, cool. All right, that's 18. Uh, Nefer, what's your dexterity? Hang on, I can check. Plus three. Yep. Hey, you go first. Cool. Um, hey, nope. I'm gonna throw down those oars uh, inside the boat. I don't throw them off the boat. I'm you know, clarify that. Good to clarify. Oh, clarify. <laughs> Thank you for the clarification. That was totally something I was about to get you on. Yeah. I know how DMs think. Okay. Uh, Nefra is going to take his glaive that he had in kind of the crook of his arm. Yep. Uh, is our normie friend, the, uh, the guard there, is he in front of me or behind me right now he is in front of you you're kind of both both of you and petrichor are facing inward okay i'm going to take the glaive in hand uh i shout out falx and then i i kind of like flip it put the glaive in my hands bring it forward and i'm gonna like sort of roughly tap his shoulder with the blunt side of it and cast uh protection from good and evil on him Ooh. All righty. So as you yell out the name, the blade begins to glow this eerie green light. Um, and as you tap uh, the silver guard in his shoulder, whose name you haven't learned yet, um, you see him flinch a little bit at the sudden contact, but upon seeing that the weapon's flat and not seemingly meant to do damage, he looks mm -hmm. back at you, confused, and suddenly acknowledges what you've done for him. You're under my care now, okay? Oh. I know it's weird, we'll talk about it later. Um, uh, and then... <laughs> friend! Uh, and then... Uh, do I have... Oh. I gotta check. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, not much. I have X out of All right. clothes. Remember, that was yeah, a bonus that's... action. Yep. Isn't it, isn't it a full action to cast? It's it's a bonus the... action. I still haven't put it into the uh, quality into the items details, uh, but it's okay. a bonus action if you do it that way. Okay. Uh, in that case, leg. <laughs> yes, <laughs> or the yeah. the wrist, so to say. 
Uh, in that case, it I is the find... gift horse. Don't look it in the mouth. <laughs> Definitely punch it with a strange abnormal arm syndrome. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> Let's see here. In that case, I am going to. Where is? Uh, yes, that's what I wanted to do. Uh, all right, this is gonna be fun. Uh, let me know if I can't do this, but like. Yeah, because if it's a concentration spell, protect good and evil's concentration spell. I can cast another like regular spell, right? It's it's just that you can't cast two concentration spells at the same time. Here's the fun fact about casting a concentration spell through an item. Yeah, you don't need to worry about that. Okay, cool. So <laughs> this is gonna be hilarious. All right, ded dedicated to the role play. So I tap down the glaive, Poco and then. The and then uh reach into my robes and i pull out those like torn up pieces of the pillowcase that i like ripped up apart earlier i don't um, know where you did that yes and i like wrap them around that same arm that's still holding the glaive and as i do so i'm like whispering to myself like i really hope this works really hope this works um yes i also saves them and i swing the glaive around and kind of like this wide and circling arc around me and i'm going to cast aid on percival petrichor and terry all right for, ladies, for la ladies and gentlemen who don't know what aid is aid is a spell that boasts your allies with toughness and resolve uh by choosing up to three characters within range nephra can increase their hit point maximum and current hit points by five Wow. Not VST. For the duration, which is eight hours. Yes, so you now have plus five uh, to your health, as well as healing for health. Easy way to keep track of that, if you click on your HP, you see override yeah. max HP, just add five to the number, who, put it who there. Who's doing this again? All of you. Oh, I thought I heard three, so I was like... Yeah, yeah three. three. It's Percival, Petrichor, and Terry. Okay. That's 45. Uh, Each of us, uh, got it. Yes. Not the Terry, outsider. Taking, <laughs> taking care of it for you, so no worries. Oh, that, oh god. <laughs> I accidentally almost uh, wrote 452. Uh, <laughs> that's a lot of health. Four, yeah, that's, four, a quick, that's a quick way to summon Tiamat into the world. <laughs> I have all the health. Oh god. <laughs> I'm too powerful. Well, that's the thing, is you can have all the health in the world, but that doesn't mean you have the strength to do anything with it. Valid. I have 452 health. Great. Tiamat will still kill me because I will only do five damage a piece to it, and he will, and she will do like 45. Nah, nah. <laughs> Wait her out. You can do it. Wait her out. <laughs> okay. So right, I end my turn there. All I've right. sufficiently done things, so I'll end my turn there. Cool, cool, coolio. It's now this creature's turn. As it howls at Percival, uh, you see two more appear. Uh, one towards the bow of the, of the boat, uh, gravity on to the, uh, the point where both wood sides uh, meet, uh, pulling itself up from there. You see it's struggling in the water. The other one comes in from the... Uh, shoot, I'm, I forgot my... From the port side. Um, uh, also lifting itself up, emerging. They both look the same, and they all look about the same type of infected with the purple veins. Or the violet veins. Um, the one that's closest to you, Percival, will lun uh, lash out with its claws. And I believe a 15 does not hit you. No. Very closely, though. Uh, its second attack, though, as it's closer, it will make a, a lunge forward more. Bite. The bite will also miss with an 11. Take that. <laughs> Huzzah. As they both miss you. All right. Next one up would be the other one at the port side. As it comes up, it lashes out the first thing it sees, which uh, is Petrichor. Uh, ah. <laughs> general scream. Right. <laughs> Petrichor, I believe a 19 hits you. Yes. Ouch. All right. Wonderful. And you take, let's see here, uh, 2d4. That's lame, but all right. That's fabulous. One and, oh, now. decent. All right. Uh, you take six damage as I rolled both ones. Ouch. 
All right. It's second attack. It'll try to bite you. That's the natural 20. Ah. As oh. you take... Six. Ten more damage. As it bites ah. into you, you feel this intense gr pain into the side of your arm. Um, after that's... Actually, it's now your turn. <laughs> just imagine you're, like, scratching me and biting me. I just, like, get my stick and start whacking. <laughs> you... Yeah, you can. Um... Um, well, I just like to stub my toe and wear my new things are. Uh, you know, I'm gonna try to use my um my shape water skill to see. Uh -huh. It's the DM question <laughs> to okay, see if I can like boosh us out of there. Let me double check the. As as like, because it's a f five foot oh, like square like, or like cube, like, like yeah, like it's gonna be like the 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 motor of a sh of of a boat. That's very stretch, but I like to stretch my spell. <laughs> All right, it's a good thing I have uh, Ghost of Salt Marsh right here. Actually, there you go. my gentle brag actually helped out a lot. Um, <laughs> let me see here. Doop doop doop. Book book book. How much does it weigh? That's a lot. Um, I'm going to say, unfortunately, because of how big the, the boat is and how much it weighs in the water, uh, just a simple casting of shape water uh, will indeed move it. If you're casting it all three times that you can at one moment, um, and that will take three actions, technically. So could she, uh, it, it just it, it's possible. Could she potentially try to forego all three of her actions in order to make that work? Uh, it will take three rounds, but but it's an option. It's an option, but however, at this current situation, or it, could be. Uh, it depends on you what you want to do. Yeah, it okay, it's possible. Um... It's just gonna take a while. Sorry, there's just something that happened, so it could t distracted me. Um, so yes, yeah, so it's essentially you could decide to spend the next three turns trying to make. That yeah, I know that'd be fight. way too much. Um, I am just gonna whack it, whack with in the, the head whack with it. the thwack staff. Yeah. Make an attack. Okay. Ah, uh, doesn't hit two. Uh, or not a two. It's a natural two. So. Nat oh yeah. Okay. Whatever. Um, Not gonna hit. <laughs> first strike, it manages to pull to pull itself underneath the water briefly uh -huh. to make you uh, dodge. You do have a second attack now. Okay. That's not I'll your bonus it. action. Oh, that one's better. Uh, this is twenty. Twenty does hit. Yay! Go ahead and roll damage. One d eight plus three. Uh, where is my D8? Your D8. Uh, five. Five. Okay, five damage is still five damage. As you bring it down for the second strike, it connects to the side of the face. It howls again, this language that you don't quite know. Um, but you feel insulted a little bit. You do have your bonus action left. Um, let's see. I'll just, uh... Unarmed strike. All right, you bring your le leg up to kick at it. Okay. Uh, in seventeen. Seventeen does hit. Go ahead, roll damage. Six. Six damage. All right, you're doing good work into this. You're slowly chipping off at it. Um, and as you kick into it, you see one of your oars floating away. Well, it's okay. I'm strong, so I'll kick. I'll kick us to the, or I'll go get the war myself when we're done with this. All right. So, Patrick, or that is your turn. Next one up would be the Silver Guard. So, the Silver Guard would. Uh, I was about to say he was going to stand up, but that's a very bad idea. Uh, you see him uh, grip his spear, but knowing that he won't be able to do much with it at such uh, close range. Oh, actually, where he's sitting. No, you'll be fine with it. He grabs it both by the staff and lunges out at the one next to you, Percival. Oh, that's a natural 20. Ooh. 
All right, as he does. Oh no, I don't. I'm gonna turn off my computer again. Do it, Mona. Do it for the meme. <laughs> uh, as he does uh, 14 damage with the critical um, at this creature as it howls as a silver spearhead passes by you, Percival, and into the same shoulder. Uh, he screams more obscenities and the silver guard does not respond. He does not know his language. All right, that's him. Uh, the one next to the bow will try to sink you all. With an athletics check. He's trying to turn the ship. Everybody make me dexterity saving throws. Oh boy, time to capsize the boat. Dexterity. Um, saving throw, yes? Yes. Rock the boat, uh, don't rock the boat, baby. Rock the boat, don't tip the boat over. If it has a black dot, what does that mean? It proficiency? means you're proficient with it. Oh, okay. Uh, 17. Yeah, I'll say, I mean, you'll just stick with whatever the number is there, because at least it does the math for you. All right. Thanks, uh, Terry. Okay. Yep. Petrador, go ahead and roll me a D20 for Terry. What'd you get, uh, Percival? 14. 14. Nefra? 14. 14. 15 for Terry. 15 for Terry. So for Terry... Terry gets a full whopping 19. All right. You all start feeling the ship start turning over to one side of this thing, but the natural 20 starts dipping it over. However, you're all quick enough to move to the other side to kind of stop it and quickly ride the ship. However, it is wobbly for a second. Uh, so you manage, as a group, you manage not to have the ship capsize. All right. But well, that's its turn. Top of the round, Percival. You bitch. <laughs> That'll hit. You can. I, I, oh, if the last one hit, this one will hit. I rolled a 19, so. 19? 19 does hit. Right. This one will be potentially questionable. So it, this will be a 17? Double checking my math. Yes, 17. All right, both of them hit. Go ahead and roll damage. All right. Awesome. You're still saving at this thing with your dagger? First attack, yes, is nice. a 6. Six damage, cool. Second attack. This thing's bloody. Is an eight. All right, very bloody. Bloody. Cool, cool, cool. cool. It's not doing too hot. We, what what's uh, what's next for the? Uh... I am done with my turn. Cool. All right. Sounds I don't good. Have many places to move. All right. Top of the round. Uh, usually, I will have Petrichor, you, and Nefra make. Uh, athletics checks for the boat. However, no one's rowing, so the boat survives. Hooray! So far, so good. Yeah, By some grace of about how this uh, maybe wasn't going to be super stable. You're be you've been lucky so far. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying. Don't curse it, curse boy. <laughs> yeah, curse uh, boy. By some grace of some god that may have caused of the danger. rapid waters. Uh, you are all still afloat. Um, let's see here. Next one up would be Terry. Terry, you have three targets now. What would you like to do? Me? Yes. Terry, can you hear me? It's me. Might not be able to talk. That's true. Yeah, man. I say you said something. All right, Terry. We will uh, hold. We will. Okay, no, hold on. on. I got it. Oh, there we go. What you gonna do, my dude? Okay, so I've decided to do yes. a thing that I totally know I could do this entire time and was not reminded because I was going through my character sheet. I am going to twin spell Ray of. <gasps> Ooh. You're using Ooh. meta magic for the first time oh. after five levels or after four levels of having it? I am, because again, I totally knew what. Yes, so yes. Proud of you. You're learning so much. All right, what uh, what spell are you twin spelling? Uh, Ray of Frost. One at the guy we've been attacking, and another at the jerk who thinks he can make us. 
All right, let's do this. Um, Nefra, Petricor, go ahead and roll me d20s. Okay. There you go. Seven. Nice. Seven. All right, seven plus seven will hit Nefra. 19. 19. Uh, the 26 will hit. All right, oh. so uh, let's see. Let's have you both roll uh, 2d8s. So both of you individually roll 2d8s, I should say. A four. Four total? Oh, 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 I understand. And a seven, so that's 11. Oh, hell yeah. 11, the one next to you, Percival, gets hit with a frost ray and then freezes over, falling into the water, an ice cube, kind of like the scene from the Titanic. Um, As Jack falls slowly into the... Very rapid waters. It's got actually during enough. It's nothing that the uh, Titanic. There was, there was so much room on her platform. He, he right. could have just crawled. Nefra, how much damage is, did Terry do? <laughs> uh, seven. Seven total? Yep. By the way, my oh, right. hell yeah was not in, in response to anything that was going on. I was entirely well, does it matter, not paying then? attention. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to the game. Put it away. I got, All right. I got an email. <laughs> Sorry. Too bad. Hey, I got if I get an email that says I get free games, then I'm gonna read Go it. Go for it. I'm proud of you. All right. So Terry, I believe that's your turn, or is there anything else you'd like to do? Nope, that's it. One down, one hurt. That's my goal. Nice. All righty. Nice. Next one up would be the one that was attacking Percival, but it's now dead. It's um, dead. It's been it's been Titanic. Um Psych. After that would yeah. be the other one, uh, the bow attacking Petricor. It's gonna make How a bite attack against you, Petricor. No. When the Titanic what? two gets released. Right, Petricor, thirteen will miss you. You yes. mean the Britannic? All right, as it bites at you, know, quickly lunge what back. The hell that Australian doofus is making it, is calling it. <laughs> However, a twenty-three will hit you. Out. As it lashes out with his claws. That's two. And that's a four. You take. 10 damage. Ow! Y'all, I have been so good too. these past handful of fights, and now I'm extra hurting right now. I mean, you took the long breath, right? Like, you hit your long breath? Sorry, yes, yes. Okay. Oh, I was at max health, now I'm at half health. She's right. just getting hit a couple times. Right, I know, I just was making sure. I, like, it just, I was, like, concerned that she was, like, almost... Done, no, 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 like, no, no, no. You couldn't have gotten I'm, hit I'm, that much. I'm okay. I could take right. a few hits. Petricor, but... it's actually now your turn. I understand. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to smack him in the head again. Go for it. With the Thwack Staff, bells ringing, you swing down onto the head of this thing that's been causing so much damage. Uh, 19. 19 oh. does hit. Uh, yeah, it's a more than 19 because I don't know how to math. But yes. <laughs> 19 plus does hit. Yes. Go ahead and roll damage. Ah, oh, I still so low on these. It's just a five. Five damage. Oh man. Go ahead with your second okay. attack. Okay, I'm going to smack him again. Go for it. But you have extra attack now too. For extra attack, buddy. Wee. Eighteen natural. Oh, that will definitely hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. Hold on. Six plus three is nine. Yes, this, this thing is bloodied now. And you have your bonus action. Is there anything you'd like to do for your bonus action? <laughs> Kevin's clapping me because I know how to do basic math. Yeah, Kevin. <laughs> um, Turn, it's jokes on I... all of you. Kevin's a god in this world. Shh. Uh, give him that power. I'm gonna punch him in the face. You're gonna, gonna punch, punch Kevin, Kevin in the face? face. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that is a full action, just so you know. <laughs> I'm going to a free action. Go for it. Un, unarmed. Right. 18 natural. That will definitely hit. Go ahead and roll punching okay. damage. Okay. Uh. Now, um, five. Five damage. All right. This thing's not looking too hot, but it's still staying there. 
as you punch it, as you take some, but you give some as well. Hmm. I'm so still going at it, this one guy. Yeah, right. yeah. All right, so that's a 13. Next one up would be uh, the Silver Guard, who will make an attack uh, this time at the one next to you, Petricor. Mm -hmm. He will hit with 19. <sighs> and he will do uh, six damage. This thing takes it to his shoulder and is not looking too hot. All right. That's it. I had to do math myself and I forgot how to count. Uh, finally, this thing is going to try to capsize the boat again. No. Fail this time as it Yay. can't quite get the same <laughs> lift it had. All right. Top of the round. First of all, there are two enemies. The one next to Petricor, technically. All right, I, I can kind of get my way way over there. It depends. Are you doing it carefully, or are you just moving over there? I mean, like I was to say, so there's kind. I have to kind of reach over people to get over there. Yep. Okay, that's mainly what I wanted to know first. Okay. Because uh, I'm gonna kind of now, now at least that one's right right next to me. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll kind of swap. Um, so I'll kind of put the dagger away. I don't have to worry about movement as much, so this is kind of beneficial. <laughs> get the dagger away, get out the my short sword. Mm -hmm. So then I can kind of slide my way over there slightly. But now I have a little more reach, so I can kind of <laughs> poke, <laughs> poke down. Go for it. Go ahead and make an attack. Your first one. Woo 26. That will hit. Go ahead and roll, roll damage. For the second one now. That will miss. I know it. <laughs> No, it's go not on that one, damage. but it will miss. The first, the second one okay. will miss for sure. Oh, cool, wait, cool, it's, cool. Uh, Roll damage. I'm trying to remember what the do dice it. is. Okay, do do it. D six. It's a D six. Yes. Plus your modifier. Eight. Do it. Eight damage. Still alive, barely, but still uh, alive. Uh, if only the second uh, attack would have hit. Uh, right. Stay alive. He's staying alive. We don't uh, want him to stay alive. Is that your turn? Alive. That will Wonderful. be my turn. All right. At initiative 20, let's see if the boat does well. Cool, the boat stays. Uh, God is smiling upon you. A Woo God, I should say. Not the God. There's several in this world. But the big J's with us always. Just like in Jehovah. This, episode of, this week's episode of the Tilted Roll Podcast, which you can see a link to down below. Yeah, brought to you by Works of Jesus, which is also what we call hentai. Um... <laughs> You oh. need to watch the podcast. Yes, you do. Terry, you really should turn. watch it. <laughs> Especially because it, it is edited. Bitch getting our, lunch our editor for oh, it. Oh, right. the best. Get it, Terry. <laughs> uh, Marshall, roll a d20. Gotcha. Put it in reverse, Terry. I'm maybe not the person to choose, but at least <laughs> it's not a nat one. That's why I chose it. Yes. <laughs> it's a three. <laughs> Get it, girl. Get it, get it, girl. Get it, girl. Get it, get it, girl. Unfortunately, Terry, because of Marshall's bad rolling, you only rolled a 10. Terry, you right. just gotta let me roll. I've, I've apparently rolled for you in the past. I am only rolling. I don't get a well. choice, man. He keeps <laughs> mitigating. <laughs> I, say, I am. I am only. I am rolling only extremely well or extremely poorly. It really has never <laughs> been. There's too much risk for you, Marshall. <laughs> Right. I've only rolled above 15 or below 5. Terry, oh, is there anything else you'd like to do? No, much like my hopes and dreams. That was it. <laughs> Man, I feel you. <laughs> All right. Next one up will be... Let's see. I got to do math and figure out what comes after 18. That one's dead. That one isn't. All right. That one's not dead yet. <laughs> Wait, Nefra, go for it. It's your turn. Yeah. Uh, I would love to attack, but I gotta protect my fam. So I am going Hang on one to... Second. Nefra, did I skip over you the last round? I think he might have. Holy shit. I'm sorry. I don't know. Take that was when turns. I was trying to find... Uh, I was trying to find sharp things, so... That's true. I'm sorry. Uh, Nefra, take two turns. Are you sure? Yes, go for it. Okay. Again, this will be fun. Gift horse. Don't look at mouth. First, first turn. There's no horses. We're out in the ocean. It's there's no horses here. There are seahorses. Um, 
you. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's a me joke. Don't make me jokes. Uh, all right, first turn. Uh, I turn to Petricor. I'm going to cast Cure Wounds at first level on her. 1d8. Uh, yep, so it's going to be 1d8 plus 3, so 4, 5, 6. Uh, so 7 points, 7 hit points heal. Delicious. 7 hit points. Petrigor, you heal for 14 hit points. What? You don't know why. And then... Uh, I am still still turned to her. I'm just so invigorated. <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm going to take the other hand, bring them together, pull apart, and cast Shield of Faith on her. Well, right. uh, unfortunately, Patrickor, you don't get doubled uh, Shield of Faith. In. You just get a plus two to your hip to your AC. Fab. It's not double everything. No. Uh, this, crazy. This, effect, this effect only covers healing. You don't know what it is, though. Not yet, anyways. All right. Turn two. Uh, the nearest whatever these things are. Uh, I am. Locks. <laughs> scary fish. I, I am swinging for it with my glaive with intention to decapitate. Go for it. All right. Go with intention. So we got to roll that 20. Uh, oh, that's not great. Uh, it's not great. Uh, 14. 14 hits? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. These, these guys aren't armored, and they, by, by the way, they're reacting. They seem a bit desperate. Relatable. Uh, let's see here. So it's going to be a It didn't start that way, but it sure has changed to that point. Hey, which one are you attacking, by the way? The one that's trying to capsize you or the one that's attacking Petricor? Whichever one's closest to me. But the one attacking Petricor. Yeah. Actually, no. In this case, it would actually be the one trying to... He's on the total opposite yep. side. Yep. So, that one. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Mike. Um, okay, so that's one. Luckily, I didn't hear it, so you're good. Uh, so, it's going to be nine, nine points minutes. of damage. Nine points of damage. Okay. So... All right, that thing is probably the strongest out of the three, um, mm. but it does take the glaive to it. Um, the glaive strikes uh, seems to be just doing regular damage. Mm. I'm special. <laughs> just likes me more. Oh. <laughs> Bad screen. All right, oh. next one up. Yep. Uh, uh, would be that creature that's attacking Petrichor. Mm. Bad. Petricor. This thing mm. attacks you. Mm -hmm. Dice got stuck. There we go. That's a natural 20. Um, with a bite attack. I'm just rolling natural 20s today. Thank you, Dice Tower. As uh -huh. you take Burn. another 10 <laughs> damage. Second Lord attack. Giveth and Lord taketh away. Mm-hmm. Second attack, uh, with your new AC of 17, it uh -huh. will not hit. Whoa. <laughs> As you feel the first strike goes through this, this shield, the second strike gets caught on it, though, as the claws come up um, and bounce off. The bite, though, was enough powerful enough to get your uh, right arm tearing a bit of a chunk off of it. All right. Uh -oh. Next one up will be... Do, do, do you, Petricor? It's always your turn after this one. It's always me after this guy. Face off. Okay, I'm gonna smack him in the face with my thwack stuff. Go for it. Bell's ringing. You see again. Uh, definitely not. That was natural three. Natural three? Yep. Okay. First strike misses you have. I'm gonna swing again. Go for it. That one possibly. Depends what it is. 16? That does hit. Go ahead and ah, roll damage. Okay. When a merman comes along, you must walk it. Jesus Christ. Do, 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 do. <laughs> do, 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 oh, do, five. Five. All yeah. right. Uh, you yeah. swing this thing upward. You connect in this jaw. You feel the, the jaw break and the bottom of the skull break. And then the skull itself break completely. 
as this thing goes slack jawed and falls back into the water violet uh stained blood coming out of its mouth uh, more black acre i should say really than actual blood uh which contrasts heavily but goes well with this um violet uh essence mm-hmm. um that's dead definitely um is there anything else you'd like to do you still have bonus action um so there's another guy trying to flip our boat yep oh, right next totally to that. where is he at next to Nefra? yep okay um i am going to try to see if i can like you know try to get my leg over there or just kick him okay it's far enough it's too far yeah i understand uh, it's too you far. have to go across the boat yeah no 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 oh, oh wait i forget enough for the pulled off so never mind yep. okay okay i'll 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 um just try to stabilize this boat as much as i can like if it's going this way try to like counterweight it a little bit maybe if things would get too crazy all righty so let's see with that said that's your turn next one up will be the silver guard as he sees it he sees you nefra uh spear clenches in his hands and then you see him uh kind of just drop the spear into the boat and pull out a light crossbow huh mm-hmm. Uh, you see, it's made to be compact, but still uh, functions as a light crossbow as he holds it up and fires it at the creature next to you. And he will miss, though, as it goes wide, as he seemingly tries to avoid hitting you. Okay, I then. I like the word seemingly you put in there. <laughs> and here we are. Jade forced this one. <laughs> Man, we've lost. I feel uh, full well knowing what it would do. Terry, if you didn't have inspiration, you would have an inspiration. Again. All right. Um, finally, the last one will attack you, Nefra. Uh, unfortunately, a 12 will miss. Yes, it will. However, it has claws, and 24 will hit you with the claws. 24 will hit me with the claws. Yep. The claws. Right. Twenty-four. It rolled, rolled max gonna, damage. You take. Oh man, it's gonna. It's yeah, gonna hit take, me with the claws. You take twelve damage. Go ahead and make me a, a uh, concentration check. Twelve damage. I will make a concentration check. Uh, that check is going to be a thirteen. Thirteen. You make it. The shield of faith All right. stays up. And you know what else I'm gonna do? What's up? Uh, my eyes are gonna go completely black, and I am going to turn towards this creature and cast Hellish Rebuke on it. Oh. All right, it fails. The natural eight. All right. Roll three d ten. If I remember correctly. Uh, it should be. Yeah, it should be at a second level. Tribute. Uh, yeah, three d ten. All right, go ahead and roll damage. If you roll really well, you might actually kill this thing with this. Uh, 21 points of damage. 20 points of damage. You came really close. Oh. Ah, uh, words. As the fire goes in, you see this thing kind of thrash a bit, still grabbing onto the bow, at one point letting go, but uh, grabbing on once more. Uh, desperation it just kind of sinks back into the water to clench the flames uh but it does take a lot of damage it's not looking too hot as you see some of its uh scales are now blistering from the heat black kicker coming out of it uh that is its turn top of the round percival stab come on percival stab me stab all, right. all right stab him i think the last time something was like this it missed but i'll check anyway 14 14 does hit Ooh. Like I said, these things aren't too well armored. I'm proud of you. It landed on a box, luckily. If only it mattered. I mean, it did, because the roll was a six. (laughs) So it did matter. (laughs) Because that makes the damage 11. All right. 11. How do you want to do this? Stab in the face. 
All right, you reach you reach around Nefra. You give him the good old reach around, and you stab the the uh, this this demonic fish thing in its face. You see the blade go in through the mouth, the jaw, the ragged teeth uh, c closing upon it and coming out through the other end of it as it goes sl um, limp in the blade and kind of slides off, leaving um, leaving trails of black and violet on your blade. As you're all now out of initiative. Okay. Yay. Are the bodies well, like exciting. away Where from us? Where did you in the get water? that? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna see. I'm gonna go, go swim to get the ore. Okay. Hold well, on, we're out there. <laughs> as you're out there, the waters are still going rapidly, and you start to spin. I'm. But I have a <laughs> She's saying that to I the ocean as it's been her own. Control you. I could. I said I could control you. Stop <laughs> Why it. Why aren't you letting me control you? <laughs> but as you see, the last the last body kind of drift away underneath the water, uh, leaving behind uh, in the water itself the black acre of the violet uh, blood. Yeah. Uh, you, uh, Petricor, now friends, since oh. you two are the ones that, uh, first saw initially, you see the, um, you see the similar symbol, uh, far below the surface, uh, dissipate. Mm. And for a second, you swear you hear a, uh, almost cackling laughter of a woman. I'm going to cast Detect Magic on the area around us. Go for it. Good Beep, idea. Boop. You cast Detect Magic. Yep. Uh, I got to double check one quick thing for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> Don't read too highly into Since it. Since nothing is mm -hmm. happening, I'm going to turn to the other guy and go, So, that's an interesting <laughs> crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> it was issued to us. Are you all okay? Yes, yeah. I'm fine. We lost an ore, but I can go get it in a bit. Maybe after this mm. calms down. All right, so uh, let's see here if I remember my tools of magic, which I don't. Uh, They're complicated, all right? You know, they you, are. You can't be expected to remember <laughs> all of them. Yes. <laughs> Nefra, you see it on Percival. Uh, the scarf itself uh, radiates a. Uh, uh, the purple, uh, seemingly uh, displaying illusion magic. Say so not what you think. That's, <laughs> that's good. Purple has been very good for us this campaign, so I'll I'll definitely not react to that in a bad way at all. Oh, that's violet. Don't worry about it. Uh, okay, there's okay. a difference. You know, there's a difference between colors. <laughs> I forgot my hexadecimal. Sorry. <laughs> not all purples are the same. <laughs> not all purples. Uh, as an interior designer. Ask you right. What? What? <laughs> All right. But yes, uh, you see the purple there. You see um, Petricor's Thwack Staff. Yeah, it has a bit of, I would say it's abjuration magic on it. Mm. Okay. Now, for I feel this is a good time to tell you that uh, <clears throat> I... Uh, I use magic. <laughs> oh, man. When you look over at Terry, <laughs> Terry's like, no, don't. No, don't worry. Oh, my God. <laughs> Nefra, make hear, me... Hear make me, me out. out. Yes. Wow. I would have... No, I'm just, saying, I'm just saying, ter Terry's like, okay, hear me out. All right. Uh, Nefra, when you look over at Terry, it's amazing, really. Uh, you see a... Uh, something flame seemingly radiating off her this natural silver aura um, that you can't you never really took notice until now uh, it seems to be her innate ability to cast magic uh, has grown stronger and with that the aura has become stronger as well mm. uh, you do notice as you're looking at it, there's there's some sort of uh, almost scale like outline uh, within her clothes, and then as you look further, you realize you're staring at her chest, so you should probably stop. 
Um, oh God, the X-ray vision. <laughs> Guno's bit hints of something else, uh, but they seem disguised by this silver flame. And on her, though, uh, you do see uh, her jacket, the one she's wearing right now. Uh, one that you just noticed is very similar to the one that uh, that uh, that Captain Brand actually wears, just a different color. Uh, it has conjuration magic. Mm. Interesting. And finally, you see on the left or the right hand of the Silver Guard um, a little band around the middle finger of transmutation magic. Transmutes a symbol. Okay. <laughs> but other than that, interesting. Oh, uh, you do see in the water itself streaks of violet going downwards. <laughs> there so, we go. I was going to say, is it just like. <laughs> That's what we were here for. I got it. So I could be like, I'll transmute something for you. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> Middle finger. But yes. So that's all you get. All you get. Say, uh, Petricord, did, uh, did you happen to notice any of those creatures when you do your nightly swims? Uh, nope. Can't, can't say I have. I've only seen regular looking fish at a regular size, not a human looking fish at a human size. Yes, those, uh, those were new to me as well. I've never seen anything like that. Uh, you see, uh, the Silver Guy look over. I believe those were, if I remember correctly from my studies, marrows. They're corrupted merfolk. Mm. Though it's strange to see them so close to the surface. They usually reside in the deeps and stay there. Well, potentially I feel that we have found ourselves to be extremely unlucky at times. Also, I don't usually see them with the with the, those... Violet veins. Did you all see them as well? Yes. Yeah. Unfortunately, well... uh, I have heard bad things about violet veins as of late. And uh, as I feel the three of you would have more information on that. Well, let's just say that not everyone who has those violet veins is evil. No. Um, I know a guy who's eccentric and mean and shoves things in people's mouths without asking, but he's not evil. Yet. Man, sounds terrible. We're still spinning, by the way. <laughs> well, unfortunately, um, we're down to to an ore. We're down to one ore. Petrichor with shape wire, you can easily grab that. Okay, okay, I'm gonna do okay. that then. Come here, little ore. Come here. <laughs> Come here, boy. Come here. <laughs> the ore stays where it is, kind of moves in forward a little bit, but then back oh, up a bit more. All I, all I can think of is how in Twilight Princess. All I can think of is the the in Twilight Princess when you play the boat game, when the Zora takes the boat up. There's no like rope or anything she's holding, so it just looks like the boat is following her like a puppy. Yeah, <laughs> that's hilarious. Come on, come on. Like it's just like she goes, just like, oh, we're going now. <laughs> the Silver Guard looks at um at you, Terry. Does. The water one usually do that. Think of your statement there for a second, buddy. <laughs> uh, usually to bubbles. This is the first time I've seen her do it to an old. Oh. But still, think about that one for a minute. <laughs> the water woman. <laughs> doing that. Kevin, Cuss. Draw ourselves a conclusion. <laughs> <laughs> you can't answer your own question there, pal. <laughs> Let's just let's put it out that it's it's not outside the realm of possibility <laughs> that this may be normal. But yeah. So with that said, uh, who takes up Rowan again? I presume you guys will continue. Me. Unless you want to forego your volunteer. Nah, I volunteer as tribute. She says bleeding. I will take up I'm the okay. other or again. Let's say uh, she got healed a good amount. I got it taken away from me very quickly. I was gonna say, I was about to say, I don't remember if you got hit after that though, but uh, yeah, 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 almost so exactly. Who's, who's Roman again? Me. Me. 
All right, both Save of you money. make athletics checks. All right. As we once again begin money. our favorite mini game, let's sink in the sinker. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> it's a 22. Nice. Uh, I got a should be four, six. Yeah, fourteen. <laughs> a fourteen. Oh, sure. All right. And as I'm rowing, I ask the silver guard. So, um, are you currently betrothed to someone? Or are you married? He looks at you. Amazing. And for a brief second, you see he's about to say something a bit more harsh, but he stops himself as he reconsiders his words. Ah, yes, I forget that. Yeah. <laughs> Good old racism. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, what? What would? Uh, what would possess you to? Well, oh. it's just um, it's just that ring on your hand. Uh, I I saw a brief flash of it, and I I thought it might be a a wedding ring. And this one, as he holds it up, you see it's an iron ring, uh, with a the symbol of a feather on it. Well, you said it was Ooh. on his middle finger. Yeah, middle finger on right hand. Uh, as a, it must be a little bit of naivety. The 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 ring goes on one finger over. <laughs> oh, this is the finger it goes on an Espera. Well, but I'm not. Screw married. me then. <laughs> <laughs> you seem like a fine gentleman, but I don't go that way. Somebody tried to personal explain and got shut down. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I'm gonna. I am not. I don't know if I'm gonna make it with these people. <laughs> My sarcasm goes nowhere. <laughs> But you see him uh, turn over. Uh, this is what we're issued. They're drift rings. Um, uh, so they're... you're married to the sea. <laughs> it's symbolic. It's supposed to show we are dedicated to our duty. So this comes first. Um, yeah, see, it's like those Catholics. <laughs> <laughs> it's personal. Rome AD20. I'm kidding. <laughs> um... I was, hey. I was totally going to be willing to leave. I, I totally so did. So that cat of nine tails I saw earlier was legit. <laughs> if, I was, if I wasn't a lazy Catholic, you would have gotten away with that. Um, but you see him. Uh, I apologize to all Catholics out there. Uh, you see him. Oh, look at it. Um, if you, you were inquiring earlier about our plummet uh, technique, how we uh, uh, went out to your ship. Uh, is that help? This casts a spell, I believe it's called uh, Featherfall. Uh -huh. oh. you. It allows us to fall at a slower rate so we don't injure ourselves. That's how Bastard. we control our descent. Uh, interesting. Uh, it can Makes only sense. be used once a day, which is why we switch out uh, combatants, usually. And then you have to swim back if you... If you... If you have to go back. Typically, we just use the uh, the boats available on the sh vessel we're invading. True, true, true. That's extremely annoying. Uh, but yes, and that's the significance of that ring. Highly perceptive of you, he says to you, Nefra. You realize that's him trying to compliment you. Mm. In his own unique way. <laughs> In his own southern politeness way. Um... <laughs> you know, speaking of uh, captured arm. vessels, uh, extra ships, what are the odds we could switch out this one for one of theirs? Ballad. Come on. <laughs> Come on, this old girl got us through that without sinking. We're good. <laughs> what, get rid of old Bessie? She's been with us through all this. <laughs> All right, how about grabbing another one, then? You could. You all remember the Ember actually has spots for two rowboats. Uh, one one well, on the port well, side, one on the starboard side. I guess maybe that's up if, to them. Maybe if we make friends, they're kind enough to let us lend this uh, rowboat. Yeah, I agree. It. It's, it, uh, that, Personally, that, I think they owe us one. Well, 
We'll get to that, Terry. We, we don't want to do it. We'll talk to them about it. So. We'll probably address it in like 20 episodes. It's fine. It's fine, guys. I'm using uh, my favor to get one of those crossbows. <laughs> <laughs> so you're on your own. <laughs> all right. You all continue forward. The Leviaka has always been in the distance. Uh, now, as it draws closer and closer, you make it on. Uh, you see a rope ladder fall over the side as it let you through. The you all come towards the front of it, and you see the uh, dragon uh, figurehead uh, kind of looming over you all in this impressive display of of uh, ship construction that they have. And you see several civil guard peek over. Um, it's hello. Funny. No, just... As they look, look over. Dagger Albino, do you have the gas? You see the silver guy with you. Dagger. Yes, we have four accounted. OBS, why are you being weird? <laughs> Everything okay, Marshall? I'm like no longer able to see the audio levels. <laughs> I'm sure we're fine. Yeah. I'm sure we're fine. <laughs> I'll find out. No one oh. could hear me anyways. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'll be deaf for a moment. One second. Marshall likes booty hole. Um. <laughs> <sighs> I am a great DM. Anyways. There's so many ways you could have said that and you picked that one. And that is just the <laughs> most uncomfortable. You'll find out eventually if he ever watches this. Um, mm -hmm. But you see the two silver guard look over each other. You see both of their faces are 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 uh, covered. Look at each other. All right, permission granted again on the on the Levianka. Uh, Watch update. your step. Yeah. Let's say update. Uh, outside of the fact that my phone's headphone volume was set extremely loud because of my car, uh, we okay. were good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But yes, um, as you're all, who's going up to the Levianka first? Uh, uh, me. I, I was, I was going to say, I figured if, I guess I just kind of figured if anything, we were maybe going to go up in the order that we were in on the boat. All right, Petchcore, as you go up, the, the sinker explodes. Um, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, as you rise up, uh, you do feel a little bit that you're... <laughs> All I can think. Sorry, I was about to go just like with the gamers. Rise <laughs> up, gamers! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Truly, we do live in a society. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, Petrogor, as you rise up and you uh, crest over the edge of the of the uh, deck, you see before you. Uh, the deck itself is pretty well organized. Crates are off to the side. You see several ballistas are still well unloaded now. Uh, you do see most of the bolts that they have are neatly stacked next to them. You see the deck itself have been, has been scrubbed to an almost shine. If wood could shine, that would be what you're stepping on right now. Uh, wood can shine, by the way. Thank you. Uh, you... <laughs> Mine isn't now, but it will one day. Yes. You see the center mast is actually being hoisted up again as it seems to be able to fold back or fold down and up again. Uh, it seems that they have both a mass capacity and ore power that they can focus on for the ship itself. Um, you also see several people walking about, several people uh, in uh, what you can tell looks like robes uh, tied at the waist um, of different very colors their hairs most most of them have longer hair tied to the back no matter what the race is um, you see a couple just shirtless uh, with the robes kind of down on their waist still held together um, but just moving around seemingly doing uh, the those are the ones doing the more physical works and you see four different silver guard besides the two that are next to you uh, just out and about doing meandering stuff and at the helm you do see uh, 
a second blade Tycho. Uh, just mm-hmm. moving back and forth. He's over at the poop deck, uh, further up, uh, where he can peer. <laughs> where he's. Yeah. Gotta do it one handed. Ha ha! Bjorn's pain brings me enjoyment. Why? Um, as you see, there is actually a gap between the roof on the poop deck and the uh, the uh, roof of the um, of the actual Zero. deck, allowing it. Oh, you're just to, that's right. It's a counter now. It's not it's not a day's ascent right. sign. Nope. Allowing them to have full visibility of what's in front of them. Huh. Yeah, I'd say I would, I would keep that marker handy. <laughs> but yes, and you see the roof itself is several squares of uh, wood or wood and what looks to be metal plating placed on top of it. There's air, there's uh, little holes uh, to let air further go in mm. uh, just to increase, uh, to allow uh, for ventilation. And you assume if there's a fire breaking out, it'll allow smoke to come out. Mm. Um, yeah, you know, airflow, we all, we, all, we all get that, you know, us gamers out here. Right. We all understand airflow. airflow. Good for fires. Yeah, as but it's great so... for your gaming PC. <laughs> Isn't that right, gamers? <laughs> yes, gamers rejoice. Yes, and, and as you, I uh, play Scrabble. And as you uh, crest over and you look at all this, you see a hand being held out to you, Petrogor. Mm-hmm. And in front of you, um, one of the silver guard that you noticed had walked up and had helped uh, held out a hand to help you up. You see, uh, they actually have their helmet taken off. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the nook, or uh, they're, it's held underneath their left hand. Yeah. Or their right arm, and they're holding out the left arm towards you. Mm-hmm. Their uh, long sword at their side. And you see, it looks to be a woman uh, with mm-hmm. short hair, uh, mid 30s, uh, a scar coming down um, over the left side of her lip. Uh, just brown hair tied back tightly um, in a more uniform way. As uh, she looks at you, she looks human. And she says, oh, Welcome to the Levianka. I'm fourth blade, Chie. I assume Thank you, you are the first you. mate? Yes. Yes. It's great, great to meet you. Um, this is a most beautiful ship. I've never, I've been on many ships in my lifetime, I've never seen one. Well organized and thought 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 through as a ship like this. Of course, we must keep all of our ships at peak condition. It is only what a civil guard have been taught to do since the beginning of our training. Come, I believe our second blade wishes to speak with you. Of course. And she looks at the two civil guard. Are you? Are you? Second dagger, third dagger. Make sure the rest of the crew or of her, of our guests, uh, get on without difficulty. And make sure you secure the, their. I believe you call it sinker. Yes. A truly ironic Lovely. name. Yeah, uh, you say that as you're coming up next, Percival. And before long, you all uh, are helped up onto the deck. You are now standing on the deck. And you all see the scene before you. Uh, you see fourth blade. She look at uh, over all you. Uh, you uh, all appear to be injured. Did everything go? Well, well, it uh, went. Sure. It, yeah, it it went. Not well, uh, there was a random rough patch of waters when everything was fine, and then. Yeah. Uh, what did I you think... What did you call them? As I'll look over to the marrow. The blade marrow. Here. I think he said. Uh, you see uh, uh, the Civil Guard step up, having been addressed as uh, Second Decker Albino. Um, he stands up. Uh, Force Blade. Uh, we were ambushed by a trio of marrow. In the, uh, on the way here, they seemed diseased and desperate, but we managed to fight them off. No casualties. You see the Fourth Blade look at... Uh, uh, look at Albino. That's glad to hear. I mean, it's a shame that our guests come to such harm before arriving to our ship. 
we must take responsibility for, responsibility for this as well. Sadly, the Levianca does not know have any healers on staff. No but worries. Not we anymore. Are, we are okay right now. Um, we just hope you next. Yes. Uh, good rest inevitably will heal all wounds. Of course. Except for mental wounds. We that carry those like with us to the grave. That seems like a personal weakness for you. Anyways, let us all go talk to the second blade. He wishes to speak with all of you immediately. And she oh, turns around understatement of the century. <laughs> and uh, you see almost in a marching fashion begins to go towards the uh, poop deck. He fought it. He fought it. He fought it. <laughs> no, he fought it for a second. And, uh, to all... be fair, he's more laughing at me. I'll, I'll give him the credit. Sure, he sure, only started sure. laughing because I started making fun of him. <laughs> right. uh, do you all uh, follow? Yes. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, before you follow, you do see Second Dagger Albino uh, step to the side and bow slightly. It's been on to fly next to you all. Thank you. you. Thank you, Second Dagger your Good time. Work, <laughs> May the times be fortunate in your in your endeavors. As is yours. As he uh, turns around sharply as well and walks away. And you see the two other daggers that helped you up have finished their duties and kind of go up to him. And while uniformly they march in step, you do see them talking regularly. Um Partially in common, partially in infernal. Um, so me and me and me and Arsen understand everything. Yes, uh, you two just catch glimpses of like, hey, how was it? Was uh, were they really unwashed? Stuff like that. Mm. Seems they're just trying to grab whatever the perspective was from this. Um, Silver Guard who actually saw the other ship. But as you follow uh, Fourth Blade and Chia, you all go uh, to where uh, the Second Blade is, as he is currently holding the helm, uh, keeping it steady, keeping it along with the Ember. Uh, his bald head uh, shining a little bit with the uh, dull gray sky. It's While it's not raining, it's not as sunny as it, sh as it would normally be. It's still feeling the after effects of the rainstorm you guys had uh, yesterday, as he sees all you. Ah, oh, yes. Welcome to the Levianca. I'm glad to see that your captain sent you all um, in a timely manner. Of course. We did our best to get here as soon as we could. It's nice to see a ship without any holes in it. Yes, this is a gorgeous ship. It's very, very thought through. Very, It's a very interesting mechanic. Oh, Please, Terry, we didn't over this. It's a skylight. <laughs> Beautiful skylight. <laughs> okay. I will... Uh, I will confess we didn't leave that last battle with your ship uh, completely unscathed, I believe. Um, one of our quarters was uh, penetrated by a ballista bolt. Uh, oh. Thus, it's been unusable. Well, and I, I believe I remember hearing the one of one of the strange holes in the ship, uh, I believe I was told was from quite some time ago. <laughs> I'm sorry? For what ship? Ours. <laughs> that I would not know. I've just met you all. By the way, as you're all now on here, you su do see several things covered up by cloth. Towards the back, hmm. uh, they seem kind of bulky. It seem to be equipment of some sort, but they're being covered up. Okay. It's fine. I will ask for what I want when the time is right. <laughs> As he looks at all you, he looks at a uh, fourth blade. Here. Fourth blade, take the helm. I wish to speak with two our guests in a more organized manner than I am now. You see, fourth blade. Uh, Clickered heels together um, and bow briefly. Yes, second blade. And take his spot as he switch out. As he steps towards you all, hands behind his, his back. In a similar way to uh, Captain Bran, but this feel, seems more 
just a leisure one while Captain Brand does it to uh, be more enforceful. Mm. Uh, museum wing, approach you all. I believe we have terms to discuss. Um, the exchange of information. Uh, we need to solidify our agreement. Sure. Uh, if, if you will recall, I dedicated my ship and whatever ships that follow us to your fleet. Uh, your captain, I believe her name was Brand? Yes. Uh, she is to be in command of us. I subject myself and my troops to her command. We are eight strong. Wow. That's... That's very strong. Um, I think we have two main ships and then... Uh, yeah, the good st stammering of little ships here and there. Um, by that I mean, forgive me. I mean we have eight silver guards strong. Ah. Uh, not including the officers. I am taking the role of captain on the ship. Uh, fourth blade Chia is our first mate, and first dagger Hang is our bosun. Hmm. Got it. Um, and then, roughly, how many people are aboard, um, including civilians and the like? We have 20 civilians. Behind us, we have about eight vessels that, that follow us. Or, I eight should say, vessels that follow you? Yes, although I should say seven now. We lost one overnight. Sure, sure, sure. Sorry for your loss. Uh... <laughs> this last evening, or... Yes. Oh. Interesting. Sorry, look at my notes. Unfortunately, I believe you, the other ship, the Ashes, wasn't able to recover it in time. Understandable. Um... Unfortunately, yes, nobody is immune to the. I, I forgot what else we had to talk about. This is side note. Seas. I wrote well, it down, gone, but it's not here. Are we where you would like to talk, or is there a room you would like to talk in instead? On the ship there, we try to keep no secrets. Fair enough. Oh. That's okay. fine with me. And in this discussion, I feel that there should be no secrets to be told. Fair. Fair. Just want to, want to know what your, your standpoint was. Um, can you tell us all you know about the, was it the sparks that, the supposed sparks that we, you guys ran into? The ship, uh, the other ship that looks similar to ours, it's, that's, that's what we think it is, his name. So you believe the vessel that attacked us was the sparks? <sighs> to your description and the fact that we lost it a long time ago, um, just kind of disappeared, um. A lot of us are kind of leaning toward that assumption. If I had to say anything about that ship, I would say that unless your ship is hiding some sort of arcane capacity in terms of warfare, mm -hmm. uh, two ships have turned out to be quite different. Interesting. Right. Just uh, that's, I, I guess, if anything, they're just more saying that description wise, that seems to fit this ship that they're that they were previously aware of. That doesn't necessarily outrule the fact of some type of potential arcane interference messing with what was maybe the remains of the sparks. That's valid as well. That's valid you as know. well. There are quite a number of fairy tales of ghost ships attacking sailors on the sea oh, we are aware of such fairy tales and I can assure you this was no myth you see him for a second um, well, to pause be fair, as there he... are many things that are told in fairy tales but in fact are based in reality yes I am agreeing with you as you see him uh, stop and look to the side look back at you all the reason why we've managed to escape with these few ships is because 
I made a decision during the initial attack uh, to retreat. Um, now I can see that none of you are aware of um, the Silver Guard doctrine in terms of war. Uh, and so you are unaware of our uh, feelings towards retreat. Mm. Well, based on how you feel about attacking, I can imagine I can somewhat make an inference of how you feel about retreating. Yes, we simply do not do so. Uh, we take losses where we can, and typically we can replenish the forces lost, and we do our best to make sure we don't incur many losses. In this case, though, I saw the enemy ship. I saw its it, what it was capable of doing. I knew that it would have decimated all of us had we remained. Yes, as I feel you understand maybe the potential, at, at least at this time, that replenishing is not as easy as maybe it was in a traditional circumstance on, well, on land. Regardless, as my burden to bear, it's not yours to worry about. But that is why we are here. And eventually we found you. Now to fear, we struck first. Understandable. It's True, we've, we've been over actions, that one. Yes, yes, we've been through this. Your actions are absolutely understandable in this situation. From in the previous situation, and then you saw a similar ship attack first, we would have done the same. Hmm. Although in this case we were proved to be in the wrong and now we must make amends. That's why we are here speaking. Yeah. Though there is another matter I would like to address. Of course. You with the sarcasm? As he looks at you, Percival? Well, at least you recognize it. Recognize it. I appreciate it, but well, you, it's, better than, it's better than the man who was with us on the, on the sinker. Uh, second dagger albino does what he does best i'll Let's give him that. that based on his on his actions in combat i will give him that you have places in a strange position um i believe your name was i'm percival. sorry it escapes me percival well by all means you've caused us to consider several things uh, such as the fact you wear Silver Guard armament given to you by a maiden in red. I'm sure by now you've understand what that means. Yes, I, I got a bit of... I I, I believe you, your, uh, the phrase that you were was, was, I, was steal your thoughts. I s asked some questions to your second dagger. Mm. more just if effectively trying to get a baseline of information since uh, my experience really only entails me to the information that she chose to provide rather than what was potentially available. So you're saying that Second Dagger Albino made you privy to some information. I will assure you that he'll be reprimanded for such instance. <laughs> well, to be fair... As you stated, there are not to meant to be secrets shared between us. No. I but until like you were on this boat, no, no, none of our secrets were to be made out to others. Well, to be fair, I don't feel it is only your secrets anymore. So I wouldn't necessarily reprimand him for something that isn't necessarily outside of his wheelhouse, if you will. Please understand that you are not yet a part of this organization. Thus, I feel you, you cannot have a word to say in this decision. Hey. Reprimanding my men is my duty, Percival. You can go right ahead. I was just trying to help you out. Giving you background you knowledge to what I know. You told me what you knew? and To be fair, I wasn't given... Dagger slipped. Well, I will give you that. He didn't give me enough. So I will... Steal your thoughts, if you will, about it. Regardless, now we must do something that I would rather not do, 
but here we are. Well, you to be how... fair, it's I have my experience to go by, and then... I'm not referring to that. You see him pull out his longsword. I'm hoping this is going somewhere that doesn't... This isn't the last time you pulled out that longsword. Percival, <laughs> I'm suggest You shut that trap of yours. Just shut up. Just you shut see up. him uh, hold it up to his... Uh, to his uh, face, the blade, the flat end up to his nose, um, and you see him close his eyes briefly. I was, saying, I was, I was gonna, I was gonna somewhat turn and as she said, I was just gonna turn and wink to Petricor. No, thank you. <laughs> and you see him uh, open his eyes and look at you, Percival. Hold out your left hand. Take I will. Out. Somewhat hesitantly. <laughs> Catch the fly. Oof. <laughs> Great. Great. Clip off your hand. All right. You see in a flash the... Um... Actually, this works really well. You see in the flash... The second blade lashes out with the long sword. In it, first of all, it cuts you right across the palm of your left hand. Uh, just shallow enough to draw blood, but not enough to do actual nerve damage. And you see as it comes down, it kind of hits the left side of his leg, and you see him flinch a little bit from the pain. <sighs> Seems like I'm growing rusty with age. You see him pull away, a little bit of blood comes out from the leg. As he rolled, that he was going to hit himself. Um, with a natural one. Oh. Oh, but, no. the, but then you see him uh, pull the blade across his own left arm, or left hand, uh, drawing some blood as well. And he approaches you, first of all, standing about uh, a foot away from you. Kind of close, to be honest. Hello. Do you understand what the responsibilities of Oblate are? I was not given that. That was what I was potentially looking into that information for. Traditionally, you'll be called upon to serve the Emperor, and you'll be in charge of the well-being of any daggers placed under your command. Since this is purely an unorthodox situation... You will most likely not be given any daggers to put on your command. But uh, made in red's decision is a made in red's decision. Thus, we are here. Hold out your left hand. <laughs> somewhat. Uh, still somewhat hesitantly, I will do so. <laughs> With the right, pull out the, your long sword. The one given to you. As he, as he takes it and holds it in, in his... Um, arms kind of uh, parallel to the ground. With this silver blade, I welcome you to our ranks. I'll be a begrudgingly. Step forward and take the blade. Fourth blade, Percival. I guess I This is will. what happened when your yap won't stop talking. You get fucking inducted into the blades. Uh, granted, I don't think I had too much of a choice going into uh, this. Uh, whether I said anything at all or not. <laughs> the maiden red chose for me, I get really. So in a way, I feel I must choose to accept. Albeit, confusingly. <laughs> Reach out with your left hand and grab the blade by its, by its blade. It's a bit redundant, but go for it. To be fair, this isn't the first time I've done any type of blood-focused ritual, so... Perturbing, but nonetheless, you are you. And this concludes our blade ceremony. Congratulations, fourth blade. I haven't had a title in years. 
You can now wear that armor with prejudice and without the warrant to kill that we have for impersonators. All right. Now then, he looks at uh, you, Petricor. Mm -hmm. I believe the captain gave us a mission. And as he says that, um, often this is you hear a muffled boom. Uh, ready? Yep. Great. Everybody make me perception checks. I didn't get to ask about the crossbow. No. Oh, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> All right, Terry, roll natural 20. Um, I'm like, no, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm tired, so I can't do math. Uh, That's a 22. 17 plus math. Yeah, you're good. Uh, Nefra? Like it. 11. Like 11. 20. All right, that person got 22. And Terry, I rolled you a natural 20. Congratulations. Oh, you rolled. What is that? Well, as you all turn around, there is a few uh squares cut into the the wall the back wall the the uh, uh of the uh the poop deck to let anybody there see the outside and you all see uh the end of whatever happened uh fire and smoke arise from one of the uh, vessels among the refugee armada uh, good distance away but Close enough for you to see uh, the other ships slowly backing away from that center one that seemingly just blown up. How far away is it from the ember? From the ember, about a good 200 feet. Oh, that's really close. Oh, not 200 feet, 2,000 feet, I should say. Okay. <laughs> yeah, my bad. I'm thinking, I'm thinking uh, yeah. feet in terms of that and how long it would take you to do all that. Um, mm -hmm. But as you all turn to look, you hear Second Blade say, well, that answered that question. What question? We're going to end the session. Okay. It's late. I mean, <laughs> okay, then. All right. What will happen next time? What caused the explosion? Man, that's a lot of fire. Will Percival ever get his crossbow? Probably not. Nah. Tune in next week. It will we be. throw the crossbow into the fire? Yeah, Whoa! I will. I will get something, damn it. I will get a ranged no. weapon. You just got you just got uh, inducted into the blade, so that's all you get. But I'm really bad with the long sword. What's that my problem? Like, hilariously <laughs> bad. Alright, this is Terry, signing off. Alright, see you later. Jesus, what's the noise? <laughs> I don't know what that was, but nice. I will see you all later. Oh, that's a bell. That, oh that my god. Bastard you. Wow. Good. See y'all next week. On Friday. Bye. And on Friday.